हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू लेक्चर वीडियो फोर दिस लेक्चर वीडियो कंसिस्ट ऑफ साइक्लोट्रॉन दट इज वी आर गोन टू स्टडी साइक्लोट्रॉन कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ साइक्लोट्रॉन वर्किंग एक्सप्रेशन फॉर मैक्सिमम काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द चार्ज पार्टिकल एक्सलरेटेड बाय द साइक्लोट्रॉन फाइनली यूजेस ऑफ साइक्लोट्रॉन so let us begin with cyclotron what is cyclotron this diagram which is showing shown here is the cyclotron so here you can see magnetic field out of the plane of the paper so there is a magnetic field in this square the magnetic field here is marked with a dot that means the magnetic field is out of the plane of the paper and uh, there are two deflection plates which is a semi circle this one and another one is this and here you can see the charged particles path the charged particles path the path of the charged particle is given it is going to go in this path and finally it is going to get exit from here so this is the exit port and this is the charged particle and this two semi circle are connected with oscillator so this diagram which is given here you can draw it for the exam purpose so let us see what is cyclotron cyclotron is a machine which is used to accelerate charged particles or ions to high energy high energy i mean to say is kinetic energy this was invented by lorentz and livingston in 1934 they used this one to study nuclear structure right so let us try to take uh, horizontal view of the cyclotron in the horizontal view you can clearly see what's exactly there in the cyclotron basically the upper one is the north pole and lower one is south pole so you cannot separate a magnet by north pole separate south pole separate so togetherly i have to keep them in such a way that north pole is up and south pole is down so if north pole is up south pole is down magnetic field will be from up to down so it will be in the downward direction so this was about magnetic field and here there are two d's okay these semi circular hollow cylinders this one and the other on the side semi circular hollow cylinder these are called as d's reason to call them d's is they look in the form of a d d shaped okay so there are two d's and these d's have electric field between them so let us try to understand it so cyclotron uses both electric field and magnetic field both are there in this and both are used to increase the kinetic energy of the charged particle here outside the d's so outside the d's means not outside this one outside the d's but between these gap or between this gap the charged particle is accelerated so between this gap charged particle will get accelerated due to electric field why there is electric field because we are connecting these two d's with an alternating source okay alternating source so further so inside the d's magnetic field acts on the charged particle to make it go in the circular path okay so electric field is accelerating the charge magnetic field is changing its path and making it circular that's why you can see the path of the charged particle it is going in the circular format and finally as it gets maximum acceleration or maximum velocity it will get exited from here so let us study with construction and working of cyclotron cyclotron consists of d's which are hollow half cylinders there is a gap between these two hollow half semi circular cylinders and uh, these two d's are connected to an alternating voltage source called as oscillator this oscillator will help us in changing the polarity of the d's 
the polarity of the D is to be changed so that the direction of electric field can be changed. So continuously the electric field will change. So here there is an magnet placed at the bottom we are having north pole at the top we are having south pole and the magnetic field is from down to up direction. So this whole setup is kept in vacuum chamber. So let us try to understand the working of cyclotron what happens in it. So here there is a vertical magnetic field and a horizontal electric field in this setup of cyclotron. So here we can accelerate charged particles like proton and neutron or alpha particles. So the particles are kept at the center and once we turn on the oscillator there will be an electric field. This electric field exerts force on the charged particle that will be F equals to QE. So we can find out acceleration on the charged particle. So if there is acceleration then the charged particle will gain higher velocities. Okay. So if it will gain velocity it will be tried to push and it will move and enter the D. Once it enters inside the D there is no electric field and charge does not get accelerated inside the D's. Then what happens inside the D's? Inside the D's there is influence of magnetic field and since the charged particle is entering perpendicular to the magnetic field it will take a circular path. So the direction of the charged particle is changed now. So it will take a curved path and comes back once again at the exit of the D. Here now the polarity of the D is changed so that the electric field direction will change. So since the electric field direction is changed now the charged particle will get accelerated due to the electric field. Now it has gained an velocity which I will call it as V1 that means increase in the velocity and this procedure will go on continuing. So inside the D's there is magnetic field which is making it to take curved path. Between the gap there is electric field which is trying to accelerate it. This is the concept of cyclotron. Here at every instant the electron comes to the gap it will get accelerated and its velocity will go on changing. And inside the D's the direction of velocity is changed between the gap magnitude of velocity is changed that is increased. The same way this will go on following the same and until and unless the charged particle will complete the whole circular path. So this way if it completes the circular path it goes on going into circles and the radius of the circle will go on increasing at finally one point it will exit and this is what we call it as what the radius of exit the point at which the charged particle will go out of the cyclotron will be called as radius of exit and the with velocity with which it is coming out that will be called as the exit velocity. At the end the charged particle is thrown out it gets the maximum kinetic energy and with which it can be sent ahead to hit the target and we use it to study the structure of that target material. So now let us try to see the explanation for cyclotron. So in the cyclotron if I assume that capital T is the time taken by the charged particle to complete one revolution then frequency of it can be written as Fc is equal to 1 by T. Fc means frequency of cyclotron what I mean here this Fc means frequency of cyclotron. Now if I use this formula from our previous discussion that is for a charged particle going in a circular path. 
so from this formula if i substitute here i will get the expression as this one so fc will be equal to qb divided by 2 pi m further i can write angular frequency by trying to write 2 pi along with fc so angular frequency here will become qb divided by m so here what i have to note is so the particle will try to go from one d to another d at every interval of t by 2 so the particle will stay in one d for t by 2 time that is half of the time period so only that much time it is spends in one d so remaining half time it spends in the other d okay so thus if it is trying to spend half time in one t one d and one more half time in the other d so meanwhile it enters one d and comes back out during that time what we have to do is we have to change the polarity of the electric field or the d's so if we change the direction of electric field or if we change the polarity of d's then the charged particle will get accelerated so we are doing this in order to synchronize the frequency of applied electric field with the frequency of cyclotron so the charged particle when it exactly comes out of the like it is about to come out of the d the polarity of electric field or the polarity of the d's have to change if they change then only the charged particle will get accelerated further so once it excel gets accelerated it goes to the other d and finally from there it takes uh, one more turn and uh, again time spent is t by 2 from there if it wants to go from this d to another d again i have to do is change the direction of electric field from the previous one so this synchronization is necessary to accelerate the charged particle with precision so here now if i try to consider the frequency of applied frequency that is externally applied frequency that means the source frequency ac source frequency and sc cyclotron frequency both should match to get maximum speed at the exit of the cyclotron so if they are matching we call this condition to be resonance condition of cyclotron so resonance condition of cyclotron you you got to know i hope so that is f a should be equal to f c then we call it as resonance condition of cyclotron now let us try to find out expression for maximum kinetic energy of the charged particle in the cyclotron when the charged particle exits the cyclotron let us find out how much will be its kinetic energy velocity of the charged particle when it exits the cyclotron we can give it like v is equal to r omega why i am giving v is equal to r omega reason is so this is in circular motion so that's why i am trying to give it further i am trying to talk about the last circle itself here note that this capital r is the radius at the exit of the cyclotron at the exit so further i can write it as omega is equal to v by r so i have got this now so this i have got it for the velocity at the exit of the cyclotron now previously we saw the expression for the cyclotron angular frequency angular frequency of cyclotron also we have got so let us match both of them so here let us try to take angular frequency of cyclotron angular frequency of cyclotron will be qb divided by m now since i have both the values of omega for the cyclotron i'll try to equate it if i equate i get this expression that is v divided by r equals to qb divided by m here capital r is to be noted that it is radius at the exit okay okay so let us take this expression and proceed ahead here i can try to rearrange the terms and get velocity equal to qb r divided by m to get kinetic energy i'll try to do squaring on both the sides if i square on both the sides i would get this term that is v square is equal to so and so term now you know to get the kinetic energy it is very simple what you have to do you need to have kinetic energy is equal to half m e square so let us try to get this value 
so here kinetic energy at the exit of the cyclotron will be k equals to half mv square so here in the place of v square i'll substitute the value from here so i'm taking the v square value from here and substituting here okay further if i try to simplify this this is the equation of kinetic energy acquired by the charged particle at the exit of the cyclotron let us try to study uses of cyclotron why cyclotron is used or where it is used cyclotron is used to bombard nuclei with highly energetic particles okay it is used to bombard nuclei with highly energetic particles how do you get highly energetic particles we get highly energetic particles because of cyclotron cyclotron accelerates the charged particle and their velocity increases if velocity increases then we are getting higher kinetic energy higher kinetic energy means highly energetic particles so those particles are further used in nuclear reactions and we study nuclear reactions further these are also used to implant ions so we try to put some ions at the center of the cyclotron and the ions get accelerated once the once they exit out of the cyclotron they will go and hit the target okay so if they hit the target there they get implanted into the material and they slightly change the properties of the material and they try to make it little bit new material so the properties of that material which we have used as target we slightly differ from the previous one after implanting an ion into it further so these are used in hospitals they exactly are not used in hospitals the radioactive substances which are created by the cyclotron okay radioactive substances which are created by the cyclotron so cyclotron's charged particle will go and hit some material that material will become radioactive those radioactive materials are used in hospitals to treat some diseases or to diagnose the disease here i need to give some note that note is cyclotron cannot be used for accelerating neutral particles that means you cannot accelerate neutron from cyclo cyclotron you cannot use cyclotron to accelerate or give energy to a neutron and also cannot accelerate electrons because of their less mass lighter mass okay then what we can accelerate we can accelerate ions we can accelerate protons we can accelerate alpha particles there are so many particles like this which you can accelerate using cyclotron okay thank you and see you in the next class Thank you.